In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best new mods for Minecraft that you've almost certainly never heard of. All of these mods are for version 1.20 or newer, and may be available for either Forge, Fabric, or Quilt, or some combination of the three. And if you find yourself interested in any of these mods, you can find a link to each of them in the description below. So with that being said, let's get right into it. First off, we're gonna start with one of my personal favorites, Helion's Sniffer Plus. This is a 1.20 expansion mod building on features surrounding the sniffer. It adds new plants for the sniffer to dig up, a new wood set, new behaviors for the sniffer mob itself, and even an entirely new cave biome. Sniffers can now be saddled and ridden. And while it's not exactly the fastest ride, if you give the sniffer an ominous banner, it will take you to the nearest pillar outpost, which is a pretty cool and original way to help players find outposts. You can also now equip sniffers with chests, and any seeds they dig up will instead go straight into the chest. And the best part of this mod, torch flowers actually emit light. Next, we have more pottery shard. Shard? Sure. As you might expect from the name, this mod adds over 20 new pottery shards to the game that can all be found in Trail Ruins. It's a small mod, but a pretty nice addition, and frankly, I don't see a reason not to use this mod. Okay, uh, right before posting this video, I learned that this mod does in fact sometimes crash. Still a dope mod, but yeah, I would wait until they fix this before installing. I'll edit the description below to let y'all know when the crash is fixed. Anyway, back to the video. After that is the Ender Cage mod, which adds a new block that can be used to capture and easily transport mobs. It also lets you play sounds from the contained entity, as well as display the entity in an item frame as a decoration. It even has some redstone functionality, as well as various settings that you can mess around with. And speaking of redstone functionality, that brings me to our next mod, Copperworks. As we all know, copper is pretty useless in vanilla Minecraft, but with this mod, it has a bunch of new uses. With this mod, copper can now be used to craft copper batteries, visual sensors, wireless relays, clocks, sticky traps, a radio that lets you broadcast messages to nearby players who also have a radio. I mean, the level of depth and attention to detail in this mod is just insane, and I've really only scratched the surface, so you're definitely going to want to check this one out. Moving on, we have Lumber Worker. Lumber Worker is a simple mod that adds the new Lumber Worker Villager profession. The Lumber Worker Villager offers various wood types from different biomes, and the available trades can be easily modified via data pack. The Lumber Worker's new workstation block is the saw, which can be used to harvest any logs placed next to it, turning them into planks. The saw is more efficient than regular crafting, turning one log into six planks instead of four. You can also push the saw with pistons as well as have it interact with redstone, which could be useful for automation. Next up, we have more mobs, a mod that adds new variants of hostile mobs. Using custom player heads, this mod adds over 85 new variants of zombies, skeletons, piglins, and more. It also works completely server-side, meaning that if you're using it on a server, players don't need to install the mod themselves. And it's available as a data pack if you prefer to install it that way instead. Another mod that changes hostile mobs is L2 Hostility. This mod adds a new intricate difficulty system that makes makes mobs stronger and gives them special abilities. The details of this new difficulty system are kind of complicated, but in general, mobs will scale in strength and ability with the player. In other words, the more you kill strong enemies, the stronger the enemies will become. And if you happen to die to one of these mobs, the difficulty will lower accordingly, so things will never get too out of control. Mobs can also spawn with a new thing called traits, which are special modifiers that enhance the mob in various ways, such as increased speed, health regeneration, invisibility, and damage resistance. Currently, there are 23 traits in total, so there's plenty of variety in this new difficulty system. Nearing the end, we have Enchantry, a mod that aims to reimagine how enchantments are obtained. This mod divides enchantments into three categories. Basic, which are enchantments that can be obtained from the table as usual, specialty enchantments, obtained by trading with librarian villagers, and arcane enchantments, which can only be found as loot from structures. If you surround your enchanting table with chiseled bookshelves, and then fill those bookshelves with specialty and arcane arcane enchantments that you found, you'll then be able to apply those enchantments to items using the enchanting table. The enchanting table will also sometimes apply curses, but you can avoid this by surrounding your table with candles. There are lots of other tweaks and additions that I don't really have time to get into in this video, but I highly recommend giving this mod a shot. Last but not least, we have Nature's Spirit. This mod adds over 20 new biomes inspired by real-world locations all over the world, including new desert biomes, coastal biomes, Mediterranean biomes, and a whole lot more. This mod also extends the game's block palette by adding new diable blocks that contain both muted and pastel colors. In addition, there are even three new village types. Overall, Nature Spirit is a great mod for fans of both exploration and building. By the way, before you go, I just released my own new mod, Young's Better Jungle Temples. This mod completely redesigns the jungle temples from the ground up to make them a lot more fun to explore as well as more rewarding. I'm not going to spend any more time on it in this video since this is a video dedicated to other people mods, but hey, if it's something you're interested in, feel free to go check it out. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you decide to use any of these mods, and let me know what kinds of mods you'd like to see next. Alright, later.